I have multiple updates for you in this video. To begin with, some of the J6ers have a new plot. These are the J6ers that are in the jails and in the prisons. And their big plan is a hunger strike. They have a multitude of demands up to and including them getting released. There is a major flaw. Major flaw. Nobody cares about them. To do a hunger strike and it be successful, people have to care. And nobody cares about them. Sure, you might have Marjorie Taylor Greene blurt out about J6ers, but she doesn't actually care. And of course, they have a few J6 fangirls, but most of America does not care. You walk up to a random person on the street and go, do you know the, J the, the J6ers in prison are on a 15-day hunger strike right now? They're starving? They're going to say, I don't care. Because nobody cares about them. So the entire idea of the hunger strike is stupid. <laughs> There's nothing there. No one cares. Now, there's other things going on. There's TP USA. Now, that is going to be a big far-right event in Detroit. And they funnel into a couple other stories because there was a Blacks for Trump event held at a black church. Now, this is in Detroit, really close to the TP USA event. And I think that was on purpose. Because you get to watch, you know, some videos coming out of it and you see the crowd cheering Trump, 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 and all of those smiling white faces in the black church at the Blacks for Trump event. But hey, 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 there there were some black some black people there. Few. I, there was one panning through the crowd. I counted eight black people in a, in a, in a pretty filled church of white people. But uh, then... Uh, some people in the comments identified some of the people and then you went to their Twitter pages or their Instagram and you see they aren't local and they're in town for TP USA. Some of them are even wearing the lanyards. Yeah. Talk about um, making it look like Trump has black support when he doesn't. But they kind of failed considering it's all white faces for their... Blacks for Trump event. I'm sure they'll have some very hyper zoomed in images and videos though. Um, chanting Trump in a church, of course. Uh, reminds me of when Trump went down to that fast food place and there were all the, the black workers smiling for him because you know they're workers and they have to because they're told to because it's their job. And then there's this one black woman going up and giving him hugs and then you find out that, you know, she's also like been going down to Florida to Trump's place and, you know. Sounds a little like a plant to me. Almost. A little bit. But, you see, that's not all that's happening in Detroit. Because there was also the Nick Fuentes event going on. Yes, and Nick Fuentes did go to TP USA and got kicked out. Videos are online of that if you would like to see it. Now, after Nick got kicked out, he has his own event, right? In my opinion, he knew he was going to get kicked out. Everyone knows he's going to get kicked out. He's, he's doing it to advertise his own event. Which, according to him, they had the stage set up, everything ready, all of their equipment there, and then they got kicked out. The police were called. They couldn't even get their own equipment. That's what they were saying from what I was reading. So they tried to find uh, replacement venues, and as they found replacement venues, those venues were canceling on them. Because people online were contacting those venues and explaining who exactly this venue was going to be used for. That there'd be a lot of white supremacy at these venues if they allowed Nick Fuentes' event to happen. So! Apparently, um, he ended up doing the event on the street, just like yelling into the wind. Now, as far as I'm aware, there is a location he didn't check that he might have been welcomed. Um, there was that church from earlier with all those smiling white faces. I, I, I honestly don't know. Would they have allowed him in? <laughs> I 
But yeah, it's it's basically gonna there's gonna be a lot more stuff coming out. Um, Trump is there giving his speech. There's a bunch of journalists, of course, gonna be covering what happened today, what happened with the Nick Fuentes stuff. And of course, tomorrow it's Father's Day. So uh, my prediction. Trump's going to have a Father's Day message that is very quickly going to turn into just insulting people. Because he does it every holiday, right? This is kind of his thing. Um, look through a whole bunch of stuff. I haven't made that many videos, but I've kept up like following a bunch of different uh, conservative news. Um, the Canadian convoy people. I really should do a video on them at some point. Uh, I don't know if it'd make it into the video on them, but there is an article about how the rest areas in Alberta, the rest area in Alberta, that they are like squatting on, for lack of a better word, encampment, whatever you want to call it. Um, that particular place, they might actually soon be delaying improvements because they need to be they need to be gone, and it has where the government agency with like transportation or something claims they gave them permission to be there which was dumb um no talk as far as i could tell about like the structures being built at any of the locations because they're still building structures and painting them one kind of looks like it's like something you'd see from like the lollipop guild um but that's still going on they're still trying to form events today they were supposed to have some big event for the children uh, it's supposed to be an offshoot of that million person, million children march, whatever they called it. They got like 50 people, right? Like, there's not a lot of people there. Um, they had a guy, one of the convoy protesters, who had an order that he couldn't be at the courthouse. So he told, it's not his probation officer, it's whatever he would be in Canada, told him that his new address was the location of the of the courthouse and set up a tent and eventually got arrested for that and then got like new restrictions and new charges and they're like this is a big win um carl in canada he he he's he, he i i really think he's he's losing it um i i don't know i i i watch him i watch him and the things he has to say and i'm like i wonder like is there a mental hold thing in Canada? <laughs> Another leader was like complaining about people and how people aren't standing up with them and uh, how ships uh, 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 transporting goods on the ocean are actually why the sea level's rising. There's a lot of weird stuff out of Canada. I just haven't uh, gotten to cover. Maybe one day. That's your update for this weekend and what's been going on.